Lisa presents. This is Chavo's neighborhood where crazy dreams may do come true. Chavo is misunderstood, but not by me or you. His friends are strange like you've never seen. Some are sweet and some are mean. The sneaky one, the spoiled kid, the girls who love this moony lad. The lazy guy who flips his lid, the landlord's always mad. The teacher's in love with the lady in curlers. The mailman who runs away from the witch. Where Java lives, it may be small, but big adventures are on track. He may stumble, he may fall, but he always bounces back. Welcome to his neighborhood where crazy dreams they do come true. Chavo is misunderstood, but not by me. Boy. That's true, that's true, that's true. <coughs> Now then, students, let's see how well you studied your science. We'll begin with animals. He's talking about uh -huh. Junior! What's that? <laughs> Never mind. We're discussing animals. Let's open the floor. Uh, Professor, but if you do that, won't all the animals fall down to the basement? Mm, you missed the point. I did it! Yes, that's right, he didn't. Thank you, Kiko! I saw him point at all the food in the lunchroom. And sure enough, he didn't miss a single bite. Mm, fine. Now, Kiko, give me an example of a mammal that doesn't have teeth. Uh, my grandmother? All right, young man, you get a D. And you're in recess for mocking me. Oh, no, Professor, please, not a D. D stands for Gimlet, Dumbbell, Dolt, Dunce. I'd rather have an F for Fantastic, Fabulous, Phenomenal. Fine. But if you make one more joke, you will have no recess for the whole week. Do you hear me? Now then, do you happen to know the world's largest animal? I'm not sure if I know him, Professor. I'll have to check my address book at home. How about you, Junior? The world's largest animal is the whale, a mammal, also known as cetaceans, from which you can obtain large quantities of oil and which lives in the Arctic Sea. There are whales that can measure up to 98 feet long and sometimes weigh as much as a small country. Okay, okay. That's fine, Junior. You get an A. Thank you, Professor. Animals go. Do you know which one is the biggest and the heaviest? Yes, Dad? You see, Professor? You see? Chavo! Now do you know why it is that I punish you like I do? No, and if you don't know, you shouldn't do it. Ugh. Let's continue. Now then, Gordon. I don't know. You don't know what? What you're asking me. But you don't even know what it is I was going to ask you, right? Yeah, that's what I just said. Ugh. Sit down. You get a D. Thanks. Whew. Anyway, Phoebe? Present. What do you call animals that only eat meat? Depends. My dog's name's Fufu. No, Phoebe. My question to you is, what do you call all animals that eat meat? That question's not fair, because you can't possibly know the name of every dog in the whole world. I know the answer, Professor. I know. All right, Kiko. The answer is that animals that eat meat are called liars. Uh, no. You mean lions. And that answer is wrong anyway, because lions don't eat meat. They only like to eat people. Give him a D. You get one, too. Why me, too? Well, the first reason, you didn't answer my original question. And the second reason is that lions actually do eat meat. Well, they don't eat hamburgers and hot dogs. They only like to eat people. Because they're meat. That's true, that's true, that's true. <gasps> you mean that lions could even eat us? Hypothetically speaking. Would it be okay if they eat Junior first? <laughs> <laughs> you see, Professor? Quiet down! Is there anyone here today that can answer the question? Fine. Junior? The animals that eat meat are called carnivores. The animals that eat herbs are called herbivores. The ones that eat insects are called insectivores. Those that eat pancakes are called pancakeivores. Those that eat hamburgers, hamburgerivores. Those who eat hot dogs with sauerkraut, hot dog and sauerkrautivores. Those that uh, eat eggs. Now you get a D, Chavo. Then Junior should do it. It was his answer. <sighs> I've decided to give you one last chance. What type of animal is it that eats everything it wants to? Rich folks. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry to bother you, Mrs. Worthmore. I've been drinking a lot of coffee. It's at the end of the hall. Ladies? Your pardon? Uh, it says it's for ladies. Oh, wait a second. All yours. that I got here first. You did? Okay, then, I guess. But would you mind sharing the table with another customer? Well, sure. I don't mind sharing the table. But I do. <gasps> what if my friends were to show up? All right. It's okay. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> There's one of them. Hi, Hey there, Gordon. Here's another one. Yeah, I get it. Hey, no problem. Did you bring any money with you, Gordon? Nope, not a penny. How about you? Nope, me neither. And you? What? Did you bring enough money to pay for the four of us? Huh. Excuse me. I thought you said you wanted to sit at a table. Someone snatched it. So, what do you guys want to order? Excuse me. Do you have any money? It seems like you only know one question. You're right, I do. Do you have any money? At the moment, no. But Chavo is going to pay you later. Me? Yeah, don't worry about it. I've got a plan to get you a job. If none of you has money, then none of you gets service. Wait a minute. You're telling me that you don't accept credit cards? Right. That's good, because we don't have any. Ugh! Come on, come on, get out of here, shoo! Okay, we're going. But when we do finally get some money, you know, we're gonna go across the street to the other rest up front. That's true, that's true, that's true. You're gonna be real sorry, too. Because when he gets some money tomorrow, we're all gonna eat across the street at the other rest up front. That's right. Uh, no. Huh? If I get money for me to eat, then it's only for me, not for you. I don't care. You boys, take your argument somewhere else. Fine, we're going. Okay. And you? I just remembered something. I do have some money. I'll have a ham sandwich, please. <laughs> I'm just trying to capture whatchamacallum. What are those? The whatchamacallum are animals that exist in my imagination. Oh, that's nice. And what do you do with them after you find them? I help the whatchamacallum get married to the whatchamacallettes. Sure. Little whatchamacall lights. That's true, that's true, that's true. But how did you know that? I guess I just used my imagination. That can't be. Because whatchamacall them are in my imagination. Only mine. I'm not lending them to someone else's imagination. Okay, so how many have you caught? Whatchamacall them? Yeah. Well, none. I've never actually seen one yet. Hmm? Oh, Chavo, I think the emptiness in your stomach has gone to your head. <laughs> Got one. Let's eat. Ew, it's just a housefly. It is 
is not. It's a whatchamacallum disguised as a housefly. Here, you keep it. <laughs> Why'd you let it go, Kiko? It's house. That's stupid. I hope it's okay. Oh, come on. Of course it's okay. It just flew away. Are you sure? Uh, of course. Oh, oh, look. It's right there on your head. <laughs> Why don't you give up on your fly hunting for right now? And let's go they to... aren't flies. They're whatchamacallum. Yeah, whatever. Forget that for now, and let's go over to Mrs. Worthmore's restaurant. But what do we do for money? Well, my dad didn't want to give me money. But I remembered I had a coin so I could buy a piece of bread. And if you're really good, I'll let you watch me eat it. Huh? I don't want to. Okay. Too bad for you.